Uh, hello guys, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is a new series I said I was going to do. I said I'd be basically doing some more obscure games, kind of out there. At least, like, kind of one run of it. And uh, this is going to be what we start off with, which is uh, Wormworld. It is a game that is kind of based upon uh, Dwarf, uh, apparently Dwarf Fortress. Uh, this is, uh, my friend Pat introduced me to it, and he said it's very similar. It's more of like a dumbed-down version of it. He said, I, I don't know if this is the case, I've never played uh, Dwarf Fortress. But I did actually really like the game, and I like the depth that it had. Um, so we're going to be running through this first. So the plan is just to do one run of it, and uh, kind of like just see it to any kind of conclusion. Uh, it is kind of like a sort of, a, it's not really a roguelike, but I mean, that's kind of how we're doing it, is we're, we're going to do one run, and I'm going to play it on uh, permadeath, and when I die, I die, and that's the end of the run. So it's just going to be kind of a for fun thing. We're going to be teaching you guys kind of how this game works and things like that. Um, I should mention that Steam says I have 35 hours in this game. Uh, I think it's more like 20. I think I just idle a lot. So if you are already experienced player of Wormworld and I'm doing something wrong, feel free to tell me. Uh, I always like advice. Uh, I'm still sort of a new player, um, relatively speaking. I'm sure there's people out there that have like thousands of hours of this game already. Um, I should mention Pat actually gifted me this as well, so thanks to him as well. It's got a really nice soundtrack to it. I think you guys would love it. So um, first things first, this game has a shit ton of mods for it. Uh, we are playing vanilla. Mostly because I do not want to confuse you guys at all, so every every mod is off right now. Um, any subsequent runs I do in this game, I may turn on some mods that you guys like. If you like Rimworld, you can tell me some mods that I definitely should consider. Um, but it's not that I don't like the mods, it's that I don't want to add it in confusion at the moment for anyone who doesn't know what the hell this is. So, uh, let's, I guess, get started with that. So we uh, start with the new colony here. And uh, we have like three scenarios here. Um, you can also get more from the Steam Workshop, which I have not ever done. But uh, I've tried all three. I have to tell you, I absolutely hate Tribe. I absolutely hate Tribe Start. Um, my favorite is actually the Rich Explorer, and Crash Land is pretty good too. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna actually do the Rich Explorer because um, the difference between this is mostly what you start with. So if you do Crash Landed, you start with three people. They basically. Uh, they get they, they this is the game is called Rim World because we are on a trapped on some kind of like shit ass world because uh, something happened to our ship here and so we start with three people we get a fair bit of good resources this is actually a fairly good start uh, but the rich explorer has uh, he actually gets a little bit less steel you see st steel is 720 here and this guy and he also has this is uh, the map is scattered with by the way and you start with 450. Uh, in your uh, just in your immediate zone, so you actually start with less steel, but you have the main advantage of, is you start with uh, uh, gun turrets, and that actually is a pretty substantial uh, bonus, uh, believe it or not. And you also get a charge rifle, which is one of the best uh, weapons in the game, apparently, and the best medicine in the game. So you're basically rich as fuck, but there's only one of you, so. Uh, but like when you get the three, this is like the standard start. You get more manpower, but and you get more resources, but you're not as technologically advanced, and you don't have as much in terms of medicine and and, and crap like that. Because like you get like uh, how much food do you get here? Uh, Forty here, and you get thirty plus seven scattered. You get more food with for one person, so you're rich as hell, which is great. Uh, but we'll get more people as we go along. And then the last one is here, the Lost Tribe. Where you have to do like some serious research and it's like, I, I I don't know, I just don't like it. You get like a bow and some other crap and it's like people come after you and screw it. We're doing uh, the Rich Explorer, I'm just telling you that now. That's the difference. Uh, here we have uh, AI Storyteller. So they got some, they got actually a pretty neat system about this depending upon what you like out of your games. Um, and so the first one is uh, Cassandra Classic, which she adds kind of a, a, an interesting like, the curve keeps going up for the challenge more and more um, as you play along. Uh, then you get uh, Phoebe Chillax. So basically, okay, so you start with the AI Storyteller, which kind of like dictates how the story will will go for you, what what they will send after you to, to add challenge to the game. And then you can set a difficulty level after that to basically go like, okay, so she's going to send basically like a couple of like raids after us, some resource drops occasionally, some animal attacks. Things like that. Um, and Phoebe Chillax here will send uh, almost uh, not very much, apparently. she She's apparently like the easier difficulty. If you just like base building, you just basically choose her. And then there's this asshole, which is uh, Randy Random. 
And apparently he just will do whatever the fuck he wants. I've never actually played on him, but I'm I'm I was heavily discouraged from attempting uh, to try him out right away. So uh, uh, for this run of this game, I am not sure what difficulty to play. I think if I do, I think I'm gonna do rough. I was thinking of doing extreme, but I think that's maybe too much for me. I don't, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do extreme, maybe. I, I mean, I've done a little bit on extreme here, and I ha I didn't quite plan out this one. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do rough, just because we're 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 doing the first uh, level, so I don't need to. Uh, sorry, I'm doing the um uh, my first run of this, so subsequent ones runs I may do on extreme, but I don't want to like kind of lose it outright in some stupid way. Uh, we want to lose it later in some stupid way, so. Uh, that's how we're gonna, and we're also in permadeath mode, so we will not be able to deal with this at all. Uh, sorry, we will not be able to go back and save. So if I fuck up, which is very likely, uh, I cannot go back. I, I have to live with my mistakes, which is apparently the way it's kind of RimWorld is meant to be played as well. So whatever. Um, as I said, Cassandra is kind of like the average difficulty. Phoebe is very easy, and Randy is a piece of shit. So that's kind of how this works. So let's go uh, generate a seed. And uh, let's see what we get here. All right, we get a pretty nice map here. So I have actually played in most biomes. I don't think I've ever done a desert one. So you can have a desert biome here. The biome actually does kind of matter where you start. So up here is the ice sheet, uh, which I've actually I've actually kind of basically won on that. Um, I didn't do a full game of it, but I got far enough to say that I understand how to do ice sheet. And if I do a subsequent run of this game, I would probably be doing it on ice sheet. Because uh, that was actually a lot of fun, and it's very entertaining to watch too. But it's not very good for when we, uh, for right now, which we're just trying to fucking start and like understand the game, uh, me and you. So uh, I'm assuming, as I said, you're watching the video and you don't know uh, what this is. So there's arid shrubland, there's fucking desert some more, and yeah, we can't go into the ocean, unfortunately. Can we actually? No. Cannot land on biome ocean. So uh, we're just going to pick something over here. Uh... Yeah, this is a good one. Okay, so we get one person. And I'm just going to have a little rule to myself. Uh, let's have fun with this. I am not changing the person I start with at all. Um, this is You can click randomize a bunch. But if for whatever reason, this is a fucking re retarded ass person, we're just going to live with it. Uh, and I, that's just going to be my rule of this. Because, uh, you know, the, the way this game works is you can... Um, you can randomize until you get someone with that you like because this guy this guy right now is in, incapable of in, intellectual so it sounds exactly like me which is why i named him after myself uh so he will not do research which is one of the all these things are things that people can do in the game this guy is kind of garbage at um, a lot of things but he's a very good miner so good for fucking him but um i'm just i'm, I'm just gonna let the random ass stuff go uh like i'm just gonna let the randomness happen because that's that's just, just found it sounds fun to me you know it's just like we, we we're not gonna just pussy out and and wait until we get like a person that's okay he's pretty good at everything let's do it now let's like we have a guy that cannot research i mean how fucked will i be if i can't get to construction you know or something you know let's like let's let's fuck around with it and try it out so i got lucky in that sense so he's got global work speed plus 20 percent uh, but Mike Cloud's voice is particularly... <laughs> it's got a nasally voice to it. Uh, yeah, and I'm doing videos right now for this. <laughs> well, hopefully this is not your actual opinion of me, but well, whatever. Alright, and my childhood was I was an uh, ad uh, adoptee. Um, just uh, better at Malay, worse at social, uh, better at mining. So that, that, that's why the mining uh, attribute is so high here. Uh, and then we have also Spy. Very good at shooting, very good at melee, and very good at social. So it kind of like offset the abductee's uh, social penalty. And so everybody's backstory is kind of random that we would get from here. And uh, I got apparently uh, some breathing issues. So this is kind of good and then no relationships. So let's, uh, let's get started. All right, here we go. Uh, so the uh, neural simulations, how games and free orgies were never enough for you. You always wanted more. Uh, so, so after the decades of uh, decades in cryo sli uh, cry crypto sleep, you're landing on this uh, unknown rim world. Real consequences await you. All right. And here's me. 
I'm a Schwab person. So first of all, we're gonna unlock all these items. So the first things off is you can make something so it's forbidden or unforbidden. And the reason why is because a lot of the interactions in this game are autonomous. Um, but you can force people to do stuff like I'm gonna make myself equip the uh, little rifle here. So there we go. I now have a charge rifle. And if I draft myself, I can tell myself to go kill stuff or whatever. There's like some guys here to kill if I want to. Uh, well, it's you're hunting more or less. So, uh, what, what do we start with? We start. We have a bit of silver. This is the currency we use to trade with when traders come around. We have uh, packaged survival meals, which is food. Uh, we have gold here, and we have components. We also have uh, over here. This is steel. It's a construction material that may come in handy. Uh, we will unlock all of that. Uh, and is that all we have? I thought there would be wood. Ah, oh, there's the wood. So it kind of it's uh, our resources are kind of scattered. Right, but we're gonna we're gonna take care of that. So, first off, uh, there's a lot of small text here, and I'll read to you most of the important stuff at all times. Like it's 14 degrees now because we are in like a kind of a, a nice temperature climate, and there's a an alpaca there. I also have a pet here, which is a Pepe. Uh, dude, this is random. I swear to Christ, this is random. Like I I, I do not choose these. That just fucking does this. So Pepe the Pepe the dog is here. And um, so the soil that's here, it's all grass. So it's 100% fertile, so we can grow things on it if we so choose. Uh, and, oh, there's some more wood up here because I wasn't paying attention. There's also a pack of bucks, does. So we can do some interesting uh, hunting. Or we can tame these creatures. Uh, literally, in Worm World, you can do anything you want. So right now, what we're doing is we're looking for a nice place to potentially uh, hold up at. Um, now... The thing is, over here, it looks like there's actually a, um, a place in here that we can we can deconstruct the, deconstruct the door and potentially have a place to kind of stay. Uh, the unfortunate part is that this is this could have something very dangerous in there and usually does. So we maybe do not want to do that. Um, usually these things are pretty good steam geysers because steam geysers give us the potential to have a bit of power as well. So these are the things we are looking out for. Um, natural formations though, such as these mountains are also pretty good. Uh, like at least for this temp, uh, at least this temperature climate, um, everything is basically fertile for growing things. Uh, this is rough slate, so you can't grow anything on it, but we can build on it, you know, that isn't really the issue here, but you know, being next to resources and potentially some food sources, there's apparently a boom right here. There's a raccoon there. Um, so we have we have quite a few options. So I mean, I, as I said, the the more natural defenses we kind of get out of this. Uh, this is apparently jade. The more natural defenses we can get out of this, the better off we are. And I'm actually thinking about looking at what the fuck's in here, the limestone wall. Um, I mean, I I like the I like the sound of this place to be honest. But however, however, we do not know what's in here. Uh, and this is a very large place, right? So we could get really fucked by whatever's in here. So I actually, I have a plan, guys. I have a plan, right? And we, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a temporary shelter right here. I'm going to make some turrets right here. And then we're going to open it up and we're going to see what happens. Uh, so I guess first things first, let's, uh, let's get started with the game. So. We have a bit of wood here, so we've decided officially that we are going to settle up here. Uh, that's what we're going to do. Uh, and this is going to be kind of our defensive place. There isn't very much I can do to build off of this. Uh, but what we will do is we're going to have our our good gentleman myself. Uh, he, what he's going to do is he's going to start moving everything up here. So I made a stockpile zone. It's going to be storage for literally everything. Uh, actually, corpse is just animal and mech uh, corpses. So this is kind of, I can, uh, like the amount of detail you can put into what kinds of things you can add to this is like, it's just insane. It's crazy how much you get. So what is essentially going to happen is right now myself is going to start carrying uh, things up there. And since it's just me, this is going to take a fuck ton of time. But you know what? We have all the time in the world, and we have lots of food, so to be honest, it's not a big deal. Um, and we're just going to start with that. We're going to start with basically having myself carry most of the goods up here. I mean, I, to be honest, I don't need to be doing that. Um, I'm trying to think of what else to do. I mean, I can just uh, start closing off 
some places. Actually, look at this. Look at this place. Look at, look at, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna tell myself to mine that first, because I'm actually, I have OCD, and I want to know what the fuck is, uh, in there, if I just opened up an area. Okay, that was, that was the most disappointing thing that ever happened. Area revealed. And it's that. So, uh, now we can begin a bit of planning here, so... What's important right now is that we have a temporary shelter. Um, just because we get like a nice little bonus for mood and things like that. So we're gonna say out of wood, you're gonna go and make, I guess, this happen. Uh, and actually this will be a door right here made out of wood. So right now, you see, as I, as I queue things up, he's gonna work on it. And you can determine what people work on with this nice little, uh, work uh, menu here uh, and there's also manual priorities so you can actually uh give different priorities based upon like hey if it's number one then i'm i would prefer like this hey i would prefer to work on mining more than i would like i don't know let's say cleaning he doesn't want to clean so i'd make it four i can even take it off completely so you can kind of see the depth of the interface here for uh making people do things but for the time being, we're going to leave everything at three because this is the only person we have that can do this kind of stuff. And it just occurred to me, I should have made a door on the other side because I'm going to have to walk around every time. Um, so the priority of, of what people do depends upon, I guess, what you set them to. And by default, I guess he just prefers to do this kind of stuff, which is building. Uh, at the same time, we're also going to make a bed here because uh, we need somewhere to, to sleep as well. And so this may not be the finest in... Uh, Okay, this may not be the finest of of shelters, but it will have to do. And what we're actually going to do first is we're going to actually tell him to prioritize hauling. Otherwise, he's only... Like, he can carry 75. But I noticed that these people only carry what they can actually... Like, the, what they need to build the finish building the stuff. Okay. So, we've just learned that I am absolutely shit at construction. So, I actually failed the construction there, which is... Uh, let's see what my construction amount is. Four. Okay. So I don't know how I failed to make a wooden bed, but apparently I'm a miserable failure, and I'm gonna eat, go eat something. Uh, I'm a fat fuck, okay. With an annoying voice. Well, apparently I have absolutely nothing to do, so I'm, I'm doing some cloud watching. That's uh, good shit. Uh, is there more wood, or did we just waste literally all of it? All right. Well, at some point he'll get he'll get sick of it. My glad draws near an ancient wall. That would be this one. That's what I mean. Like, there's definitely something going on there. Alright, so I, he just brought back the rest of the wood. Ta-da! And he, now he's gonna go to sleep. Alright, so we have a bit of a sleep uh, thing going on here. But why do I need medical treatment? Oh, apparently this is untreated. Thing is, I can't actually treat myself. So that's good fucking times. So, I mean, fucking Pepe the dog isn't gonna fucking help, so... You know, we're just kinda screwed with that regard. So, uh, we have we have our temporary shelter, we're, we're, we're Gucci now. Uh, the next thing we're gonna work on is we're going to... We're gonna make a structure here. How much more wood do we have in the area? Actually, I should go open up this guy. Okay, we have 41 wood. So that's, actually, I think that's all, I think it only counts for the things I have in the uh, in the place there, because the, the problem is that this, actually the package survival meal isn't going to spoil. Oh, uh, okay. I thought it was going to spoil, okay, because I was going to say we need a refrigerator to potentially, um, make it not spoil, but I guess I forgot that it doesn't, that it doesn't actually work that way. Okay, so we're, we're good for now. Alright, so let's just, uh, let the night kind of, uh, go away. Oh, there's a bear here, that's fucking great. Yeah, okay, let's, let's, let's end this fucking LP with... Uh, me dying to bear, like, right away. Alright, so, I think our next priority is we want to get him to here. Guaranteed. So, we gotta start thinking about, um, uh, making some wind power as well, so. We're not gonna worry about that too much. Uh, po power is a completely separate issue, as I said. Actually, you know what, I think there isn't even a roof here. Yeah, you know what, how about a roof? Roof would be pretty good, wouldn't that be, uh, pretty swell? Because we are actually sleeping outside right now. And if we sleep outside, we can see our needs here, and it's, uh... Uh, apparently we're in an ugly environment, hungry. And in the dark- uh, that's the darkness? What? Uh, oh, yeah, cause he's- he's sleeping, that's why. Apparently I'm urgently hungry, too. So we wanna make a roof up here, just so it's- it's an actual shelter. 
I also have some berries here we can harvest and things like that. So the reason I started in a place like this, if you can imagine the ice shelf has probably a fair bit of uh, problems with regards to uh, like food. Food is a huge issue and you can't grow anything on the ice shelf. So you're pretty fucked. Uh, so what we're going to do for the time being is we're going to let myself autonomously do whatever the fuck he wants. I don't know why it's taking so long. Okay, good. He's he's done. He's done sleeping. Change how you should uh, react to nearby enemies when he's not drafted. Ignore or yeah, let's let's say attack. A pretty good idea. We got a little bit of options here. Select the th the next thing in the same square. You can see information about the object: diet, vegetables, raw meat, corpses. Yeah, you can. You, there's cannibalism in this game. It's fucking cannibalism. You can go all out. Okay, so unfortunately, um, I don't. I I'm doing this for joy right now, which is not very good. Uh, so let me go say prioritize hauling silver, first of all. Uh, normally, your people do not like being ripped off of things like this. And I'm gonna pause the game for a sec. So for joy, we have a couple of options. We can get a chess table, a billiards table, or a horseshoe's pin. Uh, these these require co-op. No, it, it, it's not really the case. But that the horseshoe's pin is the most the least expensive thing. Why am I? Did, did I just go back to sleep? Resting. Are you for fucking real? How much rest? It? Oh my god! I just went back to sleep. <laughs> All right, I'm the laziest motherfucker on the planet, apparently. So, one of the things that they have in this game is uh, they have a. Uh, Schedules apparently so you can set when people go to sleep where they're allowed to go Things like that like for example the dog I could say hey, you're only allowed to be at home. I don't know why he listens to me But oh, you can also slaughter him too But generally the the pet only exists just to be a I don't know, just like he's a mood boost as well And I guess backup food as well as a target if I get shot at so But at this very moment, I really really would like like, what the hell is my needs right now? Like, why did I sleep twice? Who the fuck even knows? Are you... Are you for real? Oh. Apparently I'm having breathing issues. <laughs> yeah, but here's the problem. Um, I can't treat myself. I... I yeah. Yeah, so this, this would explain a lot, actually. So... He's trying to basically um, deal with this from just like, okay, I, I think he's going to die. Because <laughs> it's, since it's just me, apparently you you are not allowed to treat yourself in this game at all. Uh, so that's that's pretty good. What the hell is this thing even? I, I, I'm going to look this up. What the fuck is... What the hell is this thing? I need to look up what... Like, I... It's not asthma or something, it's something else. Like, uh, as... To... Is it fucking... I don't even know what this is. It's a respiratory condition, condition marked by spasms in the bronchioli of the lungs, causing difficulty in breathing, and usually revol results from an allergic reaction to other forms of hypersensitivity. Okay. I still don't know how to pronounce it, but... Maybe it is asthma. I don't fucking know, okay? I don't know any of this shit. Okay, apparently my dog is starving. Shit, well... Can your ass go haul some food over? And feed the- feed your fucking animal. I don't even know why I'm complaining, it's myself that's doing this. You go haul that. So our dog is suffering from malnutrition. And yeah, so he- he wasn't allowed to leave this area, which is why he did that. Okay. Can this asshole... Okay, like, I, I know I'm trying to get joy from this, but seriously. This has been a fucking disaster. Okay, apparently I just went back to sleep. Now, I will say that the only reason I'm continuing with this so far is, um... You are guaranteed to have someone join your colony, and there's someone right here. So let's go. This is a traitor. Let's trade with them. All right, we can get, uh, we can sell. Okay, apparently I can't sell anything. It just occurred to me because you can only sell things that are in your, um, uh, that are in your your stash there, right? And uh, 
I don't really have much of this stuff. But he has lavish uh, meals he will sell. I mean, I, actually, I don't really want any of this. Malaria block, if you want to block malaria. So, um, all this is crap, I don't want it, so. so we're just gonna, we're just gonna have a nap. Man, it was great. I, I started with a character with, uh, as, 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 I think it is asthma, actually. That must be what it is. So, you can imagine it's a big fucking problem, because I, I need to train Pepe over here to fucking deal with me, but yeah, low med I have no medicine left in storage. Now, it says this kind of shit, because I haven't moved any, any, all the stuff over, because this character keeps having to take a nap. Alright, yeah, he's, he's gonna leave. I don't, I don't need his shit. Alright. Unfortunately, this, this condition is just gonna remain unchecked, so there's not much I can do. I'm going to tell this guy to start prioritizing the hauling of this stuff. You just have to deal with it. Apparently my efficiency for moving is uh, 90%. My breathing is core, uh, poor. It's 50%, so that's good. What the hell am I doing now? I'm, I'm, I'm praying. Praying to who? Who's going to answer this? Alright, now I'm going to actually set something else here up. Um, I'm just going to put uh, like uh, another stockpile zone here. Now what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to say clear it all and foods... This is only a food pile, and it's preferred. And the reason I'm doing that is because I just noticed that a bunch of animals are starting to eat all the food that I have down here. Uh, so I need to start putting it into a place that's somewhere over here. And God will not save me now. I need to go over here. I'm just going to start forcing myself to do this. I, like, before I was just letting myself do whatever the fuck I wanted. But we're, like, we're losing food by not moving it over, which is a very large issue, as you can imagine. So, uh, it's this, this fucking bear... It's doing it. No, you will... You will continue. I mean, I'm probably gonna die because of the fact I'm... Uh, I have this untreated condition. But whatever. I'm just gonna have to learn to suck it up, what can I say? Prioritize. I don't know why he... Why is this such an issue, but yeah. All right, let's go. I don't really know what happens if I keep this uh, untreated, but yeah. Apparently it disturbs sleep, so my mood kind of suffers a bit of a penalty, but to be honest, there's work to be done here, and uh, who the fuck else is going to do it? Uh, right now, nobody. We just need we need someone else to join the colony, as I said. At some point, someone will. But we're going to first uh, have him take over all this stuff. As I said, we're just making our little pile here, so the next time, for basically any future resources we get, or anything of that sort, we're just going to have it kind of, uh, uh, it's going to be easy for us to deal, like, because they'll always go into that pile. Oh, we have, apparently have some gold, too. So, I'm feeling bad. For no reason, I just feel bad right now. So, you can kind of see the things that you have. You can recheck that character sheet. Uh... Let's prioritize the silver again. Alright, apparently there's a mad animal. Local tortoise has gone mad. Alright, let's let's deal with this asshole and then... Okay, that's, that's a killer tortoise right there. So... I'll show you how we deal with uh, killer tortoises in the hood. Yep, that's how we do it. This is Railgun Lat going on right now. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, there we go, it's dead. Uh, we're actually just gonna leave it there, to be honest. And let's see what the health is at. Apparently, um, I have a bite on my left and right leg from the tortoise. And I'm bleeding slowly from it. Some good times. But okay, now now it's actually kinda worth resting. Once again, cannot treat it. Until someone else comes here. But at least the bleeding's going down. This is one of the problems of uh, starting with uh, this kind of a dealing with one person. Apparently that tortoise really fucking hurt. Who would have thought? And we still haven't made horseshoe pin. Probably should kind of brush that out. See what the needs are. Yeah, the joy sucks ass. 
But we're you know we're we're letting we're letting our character kind of sleep for now. Enjoy deprived. You know, I thought that the, the person would join the colony much sooner than this. Yeah, I don't need rest anymore, let's just work on that. Probably most of the time I feel like shit and don't want to get out of bed, so go figure. Hey, hey, hey. You're not getting out of work that easily. I don't know what the fuck the condition I have is, but it must suck balls. Alright, you know what we're going to do? We're going to prioritize building roof area. Can you fucking make the roof? Apparently I have to manually click all of them. Because I've had this, this interface up for like the longest time. And I, I just assumed at some point he would do this. I don't know if this is actually counts as uh, being in the roofed area, but yeah. Okay, now we're good. Okay, wh where are you going now? Meditating. Alright, meditating, meditating is what? It adds joy. Oh, whatever. Guess we need a bit of joy. Then we're gonna probably prioritize moving the rest of the stuff. Like I don't know, I don't know if I can. Um, I as I said, I'm still new to this game, but if I can prioritize, yeah. You see, he just does whatever the hell he wants. Oh wait, 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 no, he's hauling. Holy shit, Christmas miracle! All right, so that's all it took. Is say, hey, you know what? You know what? Better rest. Fuck that. So okay, that's what I needed to do. Instead of actually forcing him to do everything. I'm going to say bed rest for non-immediately life critical things, number four. We're going to do put that on number two, so. Oh, there you go. See, look, look, he's actually doing shit. Holy shit. Christmas miracle, guys. Christmas miracle. Anyways, you know what? I think, I think I'm a little bit over time here, so. Uh, we will continue the next episode of hauling shit around, so. Take care. Goodbye, everyone.